I'm not normally one to jump on trends, but this chat GPT thing has just been absolutely blowing my mind. So I'm really keen to just jump in and see if we can get it to do some cool stuff in Minecraft. Hello, chat GPT. How are you today? It's always good to be polite, even when you're talking to an AI that harbors secret ambitions to destroy the entire human race. Hello, as an AI language model, I don't have emotions or feelings, but I'm here to assist you. Thank you, ChatGPT. That's very kind of you. Do you know much about Minecraft? I have some knowledge about Minecraft. Well, we'll see about that. ChatGPT apparently knows how to create a data pack. How would you go about making a data pack that makes combat turn-based. I don't even know how I'd go about doing this, to be honest. Create a system that tracks the turn order of players and enemies, and then allow them to, to perform specific actions on their turn. That's a very good start. I decided to give the player a mining fatigue effect when it's not their turn to decrease their attack speed. We'll remove the effect after a short delay. That should give mobs at least an opportunity to attack. Can you write some commands to do this? Now this is the moment of truth, and do stick around if you want to see what this data pack looks like in game. It's saying we need to create a function and then give the effect to any player who, I guess this means they've attacked a mob. I didn't know attack time was even a thing, but that's really handy. It even goes on to explain it. Fantastic. I'm pretty confident that that will work. To prevent mobs from attacking on the player's turn, my plan was to move them away from the player and give them a slowness effect so they couldn't get back in range. Sure, we can use the slowness effect to slow down mobs and keep them from attacking the player during their turn. It just gets it. It's made one small mistake. I'm gonna see if it can correct that mistake. You're right, I know I'm right. It still hasn't quite sussed it out. After quite a few hints, ChatGPT eventually figured out how it could move mobs away from the player using relative coordinates. That looks great. I'm giving it so much praise and it so doesn't care. Now there is just one piece missing. This is kind of ambitious. <laughs> it's written the functions to implement the player's turn. It's written the functions to implement the mob's turn. Now I'm just telling it, hey, write another function that's gonna alternate. This is mental. I really feel like I'm talking to a human. Either there is a human behind this, just typing really, really quickly, or it's magic. I mean, <laughs> that's the only explanation. Okay, we're gonna make this data pack now, and we're gonna just see how it goes. I'd be lying if I said that this was all plain sailing. There were times when I'd pointed out a small mistake in ChatGPT's code and it had just completely rewritten it in a different way. So I had to reconcile those differences as well as making a few small tweaks here and there to get this to work in exactly the way that I wanted it. I think this might work. It's not ending the player's turn, which suggests to me that there's a bug in one of the functions. Do you know what, that's my bad. I haven't put in my namespace. And ChatGPT did tell me to do that. He specifically said, make sure you replace my data pack with your namespace. So that's completely on me. Begin player turn. End player turn. Begin player turn. Oh my goodness. So every two seconds I get locked in place and I can't move at all. Now, since this is turn-based combat and not turn-based Minecraft, I think what I'll do is I'll make sure that this only happens if there is a hostile mob nearby. And for that, I turn to ChatGPT. I'll reschedule the player turn to run again if there are none. That's actually quite a neat solution. I like that. Oh my goodness. And it's going to go ahead and list all the hostile mobs. That's fantastic. How does it know that? How does it know? I'm not too sure about giant. What is a giant? <laughs> there are actually a bunch of mobs which can be hostile. So I'm going to see if... Can you also list the neutral mobs? It's now given me a list of all the mobs. Wait a minute, it's the same list. It's added in Wandering Trader. That is not a hostile mob. 
It's saying, keep in mind that some of these mobs, such as the wandering trader, will only become hostile under certain conditions. That is just not true. It's acknowledged its mistake and then gone on to make even bigger mistakes. It's now trying to tell me that a cat can be hostile. I fixed up a couple more things. For example, I added resistance to whoever's turn it is so that they absolutely cannot take damage. And I also made sure that arrows will disappear if they're fired by a skeleton while it's the player's turn. To be honest, I didn't bother with ChatGPT for this bit. Right, if everything's gone well, we should have fully turn-based combat now. It kind of works. So he shouldn't be able to shoot me now. Yeah, yeah, his arrows are just getting destroyed when it's my turn. Out. I don't know why you'd want turn-based combat in Minecraft, honestly. I think it's a terrible idea. But... It works! The answer to the question, can an AI write a data pack, I think is sort of. It can come up with the general idea and it can point you in the right direction, but it's going to make a lot of mistakes. Especially if you're trying to do something complicated with a lot of kind of state involved. I think an AI is going to struggle, but it's still a really useful resource, especially when you're learning. If you just want to know how to do something or get it to figure out the mistakes in your code, maybe. I think honestly, ChatGPT is a game changer.